morning, my precious family. Today is December 14, 2018. Today, I would love to share some scriptures. I just feel the joy of the Lord in this room today. I just feel it, and I just want to invite the Holy Spirit to speak. Holy Spirit of God, I invite you to speak through me, Holy Spirit. May the joy of the Lord be touched by many today and every day because Jesus is God Almighty. Thank you, Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we all say amen. Okay, my precious family, today we are going to read the book of Palms, chapter 115, 1 through 18. Okay, so the title is The One True God. It says, To you alone, O Lord, to you alone. And not to us must glory be given because of your constant love and faithfulness. Why should the nations ask us, where is your God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever he wishes. Their God are not made of silver and gold formed by human hands. They have mouths, mouths but cannot speak and eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, and nose but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, and feet but cannot walk. They cannot make a sound. May all who made them and who trust in them become like the idols they have made. Trust in the Lord, your people of Israel. He helps you and protects you. Trust in the Lord, you priest of God. He helps you and protects you. Trust in the Lord, all you that worship him. Hallelujah. He helps you and protects you. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless the people of Israel and all the priests of God. He will bless everyone who honors him. The great and the small alike. May the Lord give you children and your descendants. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven belongs to the Lord alone, but he gave the earth to us humans. The Lord is not praised by the dead, by any who go down to the land of silence. But we, the living, will give thanks to him now and forever. Praise the Lord. Amen. And there's another one that was just feeling that I just had the feeling the thank you, the Holy Spirit. I just, when I was reading, I just felt it. I felt it in my spirit. Yes. We're going to go to um, the book of Palms, chapter 118. We're going to read the whole chapter, 1 through 29. The title is, A Prayer of Thanks for Victory. It says, Give thanks to the Lord because he is good and his love is eternal. Let the people of Israel say, his love is eternal. Let the priest of God say, his love is eternal. Let all who worship him say, his love is eternal. In my distress, I called to the Lord. He answered me and set me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? It is the Lord who helps me, and I will see my enemies defeated. It is better to trust in the Lord in the Lord than to depend on people. It is better to trust in the Lord than to depend on human leaders. Many enemies were around me, but I destroyed them by the power of the Lord. They were around me on every side, but I destroyed them. By the power of the Lord, they swarmed around me like bees, but they burned out as quickly as a bush fire. By the power of the Lord, I destroyed them. I was freely attacked and was being defeated, but the Lord helped me. The Lord makes me powerful and strong. He saved me. Listen to the glad shouts of victory in the tents of God's people. The Lord's mighty power has done it. His power has brought us victory. His mighty power in battle. I will not die. Instead, I will live. Hallelujah. And proclaim what the Lord has done. He has punished me serially, serially, but he has not let me die. 
Open to me the gates of the temple. I will go in and give thanks to the Lord. Only the righteous can come in. I praise you, Lord, because you you heard me. Because you have given me victory. The stone which the builders rejected as worthless turned out to be the most important of all. This was done by the Lord. What a wonderful sight it is. This is the day of the Lord's victory. Let us be happy. Let us celebrate. Save us, Lord. Save us. Give us success, O Lord. May God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. From the temple of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord is God. He has been good to us. With branches in your hands, start the festival and march around the altar. You are my God and I give you thanks. I proclaim your greatness. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good and his love is eternal. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your wonderful scriptures, Lord. Thank you for for who you are. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your light. Thank you for your love, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, we have victory because you are the one who gives us victory, Lord Jesus, because by you who you are, Jesus, we are able to do it. We are able to rebuke. We are able to cancel. We are able to to be delivered in Jesus' name. Yes, glory to God. I'm just so happy, my family. I just feel it this morning. I praise the Lord for his joy, for his love, for his strength, for his presence, for giving us this humbleness, this peace, this kindness, this um, Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, for um helping us and unscorching us and correcting us and changing us. Ooh, glory to God. So, family, take the time to read these scriptures. They're they're beautiful. The Lord's scriptures and words are beautiful. I have the I don't have the King James Version Bible, but I I need to get another one. Of, I just have the um, English Version Bible. I was blessed with this Bible by my aunt. Glory to God. Um, I just thank you, Jesus, for your blessings and for your love. I just want to pray for you, my precious family, this morning. <sighs> Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you this morning, my Lord. Thank you for your wonderful words of each day and each night and each each time you speak to us through your words, Lord. It's just, it's like water to us, Lord. It's like life to us that enters our body, our spirit, Lord. It feeds us completely, Lord. You deserve glory and honor, my Lord. You're, you're, you are who you say you are, Jesus, and I believe you're coming and so soon soon lord and i thank you lord for for giving us these understandings lord i pray i pray for your children complete divine wisdom divine understanding divine spiritual eyes to see spiritual ears to hear lord kindness peace humbleness lord jesus for us to be slow to anger completely lord when somebody tries to come against us lord that we won't go using our flesh that we won't fall we will not fall into the temptation of the enemy. We will not fall in the trap of the enemy, Lord. But we will walk over that trap and completely cover that trap that it will never appear to nobody else, Lord. That I rebuke that trap, Lord Jesus, that the enemy is trying to throw against us, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you completely cover us with your armor, Lord, from the top of our heads to the bottom of our toes, Lord. Completely shield, Lord Jesus. So if anybody even tries to touch us, Lord, it will not hurt us at all lord jesus no curses can touch us no black magic cannot touch us no witchcraft cannot touch us in jesus name lord i cancel all of these in jesus name lord and i pray lord jesus that you open up the precious path lord open up your precious gate to us lord jesus so we are worthy to come in lord jesus and be with you and praise you and love you lord jesus Thank you, my Lord, because you deserve all the glory, Lord, all the credit. This is not our power, Lord. This is not our strength, Lord, but yours, Lord, because you deserve it all, Lord. It's all you and us. Father, Father, how we love your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for who you, who you, what you did for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Jesus, for your spirit in us, your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I really appreciate everything, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for breaking the old of me and become and uh, allowing me to be renewed by you, Lord. I am, uh, I am new. I am reborn. I am happy now. I am, I, I know who I am now, Lord Jesus. I don't care what anybody th- tries to throw at me. I don't care if anybody f- makes me feel that I am not worth it. But Lord Jesus, I am because you love me. I am because. I am your child. I am because I am, I am able because you are able to work through us, Lord Jesus. I pray blessings for your children, Lord. Complete healing in their bodies, Lord Jesus. Chains to be broken. Complete deliverance, Lord Jesus. Lord, anything that's covering your eyes, I pray that veil to remove in Jesus' name. The clutter of the ear, I pray, I pray for complete clutterness from the ears to be removed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that everybody will be able to see the truth in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, glory to you, my Lord, and I love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we all pray pray. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my precious family. I just, I just feel the presence of the Lord. I just feel the, the excitement, the joy and the love the Lord is providing to us this morning. And please take this um joy with you. Please let the Lord work in you and, ex- and feel his love because he loves you with all his heart, with all his heart. Jesus d- will not leave you nor forsake you. He is calling you. If you feel the calling, do not ignore the calling. He is calling you. He is calling you to him. He loves you. He cares for you. He gave his own body for you. His Holy Father gave his Holy Son for you because he loves you. Don't listen to the clutter of the world. Don't listen to what the enemy is trying to make you feel. The enemy is trying to hold you, but Jesus is there to save you. God bless you, my precious family. I love you. I love you with all my heart. Jesus loves you even more and more and more. Thank you. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, family.